Hey, my name is Perpetual Pandemonium, and welcome to Minecraft. This is going to be the first episode in a, oh god, in a new series of someone who has not played Minecraft in a very significant amount of time. Well, not seriously, anyways. Wow, this biome's nice. So, the first thing we're going to do here, oh no, 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 let me out. How deep is this? Okay. So apparently the snow can kill the bejesus out of you. But anyways, so the first thing we're going to do is get out of here, get to a warmer location. We're going to do some basic things like get some wood. But uh, what I want to do with this series is I want to find a village and I want to just expand the village. I want to set up an entire, you know, metropolis essentially that's actually populated with villagers because so often I see, you know, builds where they build these amazing cities, but there's never anybody living in them. You know, maybe there's other players, but there's not any just Minecraft villagers. So that's what I want to do. Also, I can't just leave a tree hanging out here. I got to take out the whole entire thing. Oh, no, I got to go up one more. Please be it. So that's going to be kind of the first goal of the series is to locate a village in a not ass location. So first thing we're going to do here is just start. Try oh, my God. Nice. Abandoned nether portal. Let's go check this out. See what it's got for us. Nice little snow bunny. Okay, what do you have for me? Where is their chest? Am I just blind? That's going to be a yes from me. Ah. What a find. A <laughs> three flint and steel and a gold helmet. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna avoid a lot of the things over here. I know there's potentially, you know, valuable stuff. Let me by hand take out this sheep. One second. Okay, we are one third of the way to having a bed. MLG skills, let me tell you. All right, so let's just check out the and head up here. Now, for those of you who are already subscribed to the channel, don't worry, Project Zomboid is not going anywhere. Nice little micro cave of the spider. Project Zomboid is not going anywhere. This is just so I can have, you know, something else on the channel. And I just really love Minecraft. For those who are new to the channel, please consider giving the video a like and subscribing to the channel. We're going to probably be uploading these once every other day. Uh, I'll try and keep that schedule going. And then we'll also be playing Project Zomboid, so if you want to check that as well, I've already uh, got a series going on for that. But uh, if you like the video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel and leaving a comment on what you want to see, you know, out of this uh, out of this series. I want to be, this series to be very community driven. So, you know, anything you want to see me do, if you want to see me struggle my way through uh, redstone, let me know. Uh, I'm basically a boo oh my god. Basically a boomer when it comes to that, as you can so clearly tell by how amazing I am with this snow. Let me just dig my way out of here real quick. <laughs> One moment. Okay. Back on top of the world. Let's just get off of that. Let's just go over here. So I'm going to time lapse until we get somewhere cooler. I'll be right back. We're gonna build ourselves a boat so we can stop screwing around with uh, slowly making our way everywhere. There we go. Let's also get ourselves a wooden pick. You know how it is. All right, back on the road. As soon as we break our crafting bench down, let's get it going. Best as fuck, boy. We picked up a polar bear. Just snagging some kelp for wherever we end up. I know it's not rare in the slightest. Uh, I don't know what to do about our new polar bear buddy. But I guess they will stay with us for a little bit. We shall name them Paul. Paul the polar bear. Is that an ocean temple over there? That is. We'll have to keep an eye on this. I don't know what my coordinates are, but I may pull them up just so I know.
Land ho! Now we just need to find a village. Got some sugar cane to start a farm whenever we arrive at our location. Once again, not a rare item, but I just want to have access to it early on without having to go anywhere. Okay. This is kind of a neat little waterfront area. Giant mushrooms. Let's check it out. Maybe we can find a village in here. Oh, would you look at that? Okay. So this is actually kind of perfect. I did want a waterfront area and we can start here. This can be our initial base of operations and the initial kind of location that we expand. It's already looking pretty cool. So let's go ahead and leave Paul here. Got some sheep with, uh, oh, I thought it was textures just glitching. Looks like it's a black and a white sheep. It is almost bedtime. Let's use our wooden pick to nefariously kill them. There we go. Okay, perfect. So we have enough for another bed to increase the population of the village. So what I want to see here essentially is just a incredibly populated zone. Oh, is this a cave real nearby too? It is perfect. We'll have to wall that off. Now we'll also want to get these cows all penned up, but we'll, oh, we've got pigs too nearby. Let's see, is there wheat so I can, and chickens, nice. We're gonna have like everything we need, all the different animals that we need here in the start. So let me get some seeds. I just want to get the chickens popped up in there. No, you know what? First things first, we're going to go sleep for the night. That way we're not dealing with any, any zombies or anything first night. Boom. Uh, that's an interesting way to sleep. He's so upset at us right now. Okay, boom. There we go. Now we've got our... Putting in work over there. Don't set that tree on fire. Now we've got our initial starter village. Let's kind of check out the surrounding land. Let's see what we're working with here. That'd be a good vantage point. Let's get up there. Okay. All right. This is so foggy. Maybe this is because I'm not in realms. But anyways. Let's go ahead and just get started. Let's go ahead and check the village out. See what we've got. Nice ass. See what we've got. What the hell? The game performs kind of weird in uh, a realm. Okay, stone cutter. Nothing really notable as far as loot's concerned. Did I already? Yeah, I already checked this. Nothing notable as far as loot's concerned so far. By nothing notable, I mean like nothing. Go. And we got to get some of this raw mutton cooked up. I'm going to have to tidy this whole place up. I hate all the grass just sitting everywhere. We are going to need... Let's do this in the most inefficient... Oh, it doesn't work like that. You can tell I'm a boomer, man. I haven't played this game or uh, gotten really uh, into the guts of this game in so long. I know you can use uh, just a cobblestone furnace to cook with. Nothing in here? Man. Kind of ass as far as loot is concerned to be honest this place has got a lot of work to go on it so we're gonna have to basically redo the entire layout of the land does anybody have a chest inside of their house getting kind of peeved what the hell what is this luck okay we're not going to concern ourselves with that right now what we need to do is we need to get a little bit of a mine going Clear some of this out. 
get a little bit of a mine going so we can get just the basics going on. We do need to get a, yeah, there's some coal. We do need to get this food cooked up. Okay, not a single chest in any of the buildings I've searched so far. Maybe that one has one. I don't know. Let's go ahead and just snag this coal real quick for when we... Please tell me wood can mine it. It can. Okay, good. Uh, for when we get our cobblestone furnace up. Oh my god, this is excruciating. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, we've got enough stone for our first stone pick. So, where do we want to place our mine? That's kind of the initial question. I, I guess we just go for that cave that was in the center of the village, right? Like, I don't see any reason to do anything else. It should probably just be fine. And then we can make our campfire as well. I kind of want to do that near the cave so I'm not running all over Kingdom Come to gain access to my cooked food. Is there any purpose to rotting flesh? Maybe a potion? I don't know. Where did that cave go? Aha! There she is. Okay. Huh. For some reason I thought I could make a fireplace. What does this need? Oh, just some sticks. Okay, sticks and oh, needs actual oak logs. Okay, so we're not doing that right now. Let's get some more sticks. Keep the rest. Make our stone pick. All right. Let's go ahead and jump in here and see what we can get real quick. Nothing crazy. Some copper, some more coal. I'm going to do that a bunch until I remember how to uh, open the inventory with Q. Oh, come on. I thought you didn't think you would actually follow me in here. You're literally burning to death, dude. And a creeper. There we go. I say as if I uh, did that with any sort of intent. Okay, now let's get some stone for a cobblestone furnace. And, well, let's kill this guy real quick. There we go. Oh, okay, so sorry for the noobdom here. Let's get some stone real quick. Eventually we'll make this place look real nice, you know. It's going to be part of the village and I want it to look pretty decent so we're not going to do any sort of ridiculously stupid stuff here let's just get some basic stuff moving here okay that's enough stone for what i'm looking for let's get back up there get that furnace set up get our food cooking so we can start healing up and get our sprint back there it is And then what's next after that, right? So, like, what's next? We're going to be... Where is it? We're going to be moving towards... Iron. I think it's uh, Y level 15. Is that Y? Is it X or Y? I can never remember. I think it's Y, which is up, down, or is it Z? Z level 15. So that's what we're going to... No, that's going to piss me off. One sec. That's what we're going to move towards. Boom. Boom good so let's get that cooked up we don't have any other meat on us do we no okay so i'm gonna let that cook up real quick one second okay grab that cooked mutton let's get back down there let's see what we can find We'll worry about getting to a specific uh, Z level at a later point in time. Oh, God damn it. Let me get a sword real quick. This is just going to annoy the shit out of me until I have one.
There we go. Persistent little buggers, aren't you? Okay, moving our way down. First goal here really is to find iron. Hopefully this isn't like a... I shouldn't have said anything. That's the end of the cave. Okay, so... This is going to be more of a interesting set piece than anything for the city. Well, no, you know what? Let's use it. Let's use it. I think it'll be cool to expand it. We'll deal with making everything look pretty at a later point in time. Let's go for the deepest part here. And let me see about setting coordinates or putting coordinates on. There we go. Let's get going down. Nice. Let's use a bullshit block, like dirt. There we go. Let's keep it going. Now, I'll worry about making it look nice later on. I can't remember if I said that or not. I'll make it look nice later on, this little, uh, it's gonna essentially end up being a trench tunnel. Right now, all I wanna do is get it down there. So I'll be back in just a second with this, after this time lapse. Okay, so I went too, too deep, but that's fine. We will, just so I don't lose my mind, we'll fill that back in. Not with dirt. Not a heathen, we'll use another god-awful block, diorite. There we go, okay. So now we start essentially strip mining. It's not the prettiest, but it is incredibly effective. So we're going to go ahead and keep the main hallway. Oh. Well, would you look at that? Our first iron. Okay, so now that's excellent news. How much are we going to find in this little mini vein here? Let's see. It keeps going. This is, oh, wow. It keeps going. This isn't quite the mini vein I thought it was. More? Ah. Let's see, how much did we end up getting out of that? 10 raw iron. Okay, nice. For our first little uh, little journey here, that's not bad. Okay, so let's just keep on punching through here. Uh, this three high is not going to last very long. So I'm going to do a little bit of uh, mining here, see if we can't find any more, and I'll be right back again. Unless, uh, let me know, do y'all prefer time lapses of the mining? Do you prefer seeing every second? Or would you prefer me to just kind of ramble on like I'm doing right now while my stone pick breaks? I figure it's not got too much. Because uh, there's definitely either option is available. Um, so I've got to say, and I'm just going to kind of ramble about random bullshit. i got to say, Minecraft has come so far. It's such a wildly different game than it was when, you know, I was in high school. Uh, I graduated in 2012. I'm 29 now. And so, like, I was playing it way back when. And it was just... A completely different game so much less going on very cool still but I feel like the game has just evolved into such a, a really amazing cool experience so I'm pretty excited to see what we can get going on with this playthrough oh god the, the stairs this this is the same this has never been any better or worse it's god awful no matter what you do unless you set up uh, actual stairs or a mine shaft or uh, excuse me my what is it minecart rails Whatever the correct term would be. All right. Let's get ourselves out of here. Get iron smelted. Get our first iron pick. First things first, though, let's go sleep. There's a bed in here, right? Yep. Get out of bed. It's mine now. Thank you. Okay. Boom. First couple days complete. Let's go back to our cobblestone furnaces. Get out of here, Spoder. 
God, I can already tell I'm just gonna get turned around constantly in this little village. Where the hell did it go? No! Over here? Go back this way. Oh, you know what? I think it's just over here. Nice, broke our own uh, legs. There we go. Boom. Split the iron in half. Completely uh, pointless on this, but I'm lazy and want to do it quickly. Okay, great. So we've got our first little bit of iron cooking up. Let's go ahead and get a stone axe very quick. Let's get our bed built real brief. There we go. Let's get our stone. Oh, we need more sticks. There we go. Stone axe. Get one of those, and let's just grab a stone shovel. I know we got iron coming, but I like to have uh, stone tools as my mainstay, you know, tool here in the beginning. And the first thing I'm going to do is chop down the trees in town and then replant them. Because, well, not too many of them, but I don't like having too many trees in town. Especially when they're just haphazard and there's no real, like, design choice to them. They're just automatically generated. So, let's do it. Boom. Ah. I'm gonna see if I could chop it down like that, uh, just from down there, but it didn't work out. Okay, so we've got that one down. Get the other one done with. Boom, boom. So, it's gonna be a lot of work that we gotta do to this place to make it look pretty. It's kind of ugly as shit right now. Oh, not the stone shovel. There we go, don't wanna break stuff unnecessarily. Is there more wood in here? No, I got it all. Okay. Is that... Was there only two trees? I could have swore there were more. Oh well, doesn't really matter. We're gonna redo the farms. We're gonna make them look... Basically what I want to do here is make this look like a natural-ish medieval village. Just completely reshape everything. And that's one of the reasons why I really like that we're on, you know, the water here. Is because we can set up a whole dockyard. And we've got some elevation nearby. Nothing too crazy. And so it means that we have a lot of ability to... Essentially just... Build how we feel like it. Oh, let's see here. Just do some tidying while we wait for those trees to... Die off. Hey. I don't think I checked this area. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah, for sure did. Okay, so let's just uh, pop down another bed so that way more villagers start spawning. One more villager. Okay, so we've got the start of our sugarcane. What is it? What did they used to be called? Uh, reeds? Right? Weren't they reeds back in the day? Okay, this is kind of a meme. The dockyard spawned here. Anyways, let's go check on those saplings, see if they have fallen out of the trees yet. Okay, we got one. Let's just finish the job off. And we've got two. Trees, that is, not saplings. Oh, well, we might actually have two now. Okay, we'll just let those do their thing naturally. Let's see here. What do we got? Six saplings. Okay, so. To start real briefly here. There we go. Hey, there's some more trees. Get out of here, kitty. Get rid of these. And then we can just have a more manicured look to the village. Okay. So, now that that is done... I hate how off-center that is. 
Oh well, we'll we won't worry about every single one of them, you know. So let's come over here. It's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. No, that's gonna screw with the torches. Let's do that right there. One, two. One, two. Boom. Okay. Think that was nine. Oh. Okay. And then these other ones. Let's just come over here and start a little forest growing. And then we're going to go grab our cobble. Or not our cobble, our iron. And call it a day. Yeah, let's just start planting them over here. Check this area out for anything interesting. There is not. Okay, that's all the trees. That was next to nothing. There we go. Get some extra food. And then we'll need to get our shears and stuff up and just all the basics. All right. Raw mutton. Go in there, please. There we go. Ten iron. Okay. What a start. Let's go jump over here real quick and let's get the basics. Here we go. Okay, so iron pick. You know what? I'm doing it. I'm going three iron picks. Okay, so that's got to set up for next episode. So what we'll do here is we'll go inside first off. Get out of the rain. Yeah, dude. Me too. I don't like it out there. Oh. Well then, be like that. Anyways, weirdo. So, that's going to be it for this episode. We've got our iron picks. Next episode, we're going to go back down in the mine, continue clearing things out, and then also start manicuring a lot more of this area. If you like the video, please leave a like and share. Uh, leave a comment if you have any suggestions or tips. Dude, I'm trying to do an outro. Um, and subscribe to the channel for more. My name is Perpetual Pandemonium, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.